Before we start the video, I want to let you guys know that the Mass Drop and Sennheiser HD 58X Jubilee headphones are available for a limited time. I absolutely love open back headphones. They're all I use for gaming because it really just enhances the sound stage. It's a really cool experience. I highly recommend checking these out for the price. Check the link in the description down below if you want to learn more. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you all had a great holiday week and weekend. Today we're going to be going vlog style here and doing something that I mean to do for a little over a month now. We're going to be modding my Revolt 2, that's not the Revolt 2, that is the Snowblind PC from iBuy Power. If you guys know, I did a video on this a little over a month ago, I did my full video review. And I love the PC, it's what I use for, you know, my channel, whether it's gaming, streaming, um, and all my video editing. But there were some complaints that I mentioned in my review. First, I don't like the RAM they use. Second, I hate the AIO. And I'm really not a big fan of the whole black and white look on this case. It's tempered glass and the whole just black and white kind of breaks it up. And I definitely want to change that. So long overdue, this is going to be part one. And we're going to be going in, making some mods and customization to this PC to make it more fit for my channel and my aesthetic. I've got some pretty good ideas in store for this. So just swapped out the RAM and I just took out the, uh, the AIO as well. One weird thing I noticed is iBuyPower used three different screws to attach that. You can see uh, those aren't all the same. One's not even a, a fifth of the same length here. Really strange. Uh, just was not a fan of this. Ha, get it, fan? Uh, not a fan of this AIO. I don't know. It's, it's unbranded, so I'm not sure we you know what it is, but it would just get loud every time you would turn the PC on. And like every 10 minutes, it would make this loud, like kind of like a grinding sound. So I'm happy to swap this out. But yeah, this was just very weird. Now we're gonna put in the, uh, the NZXT Kraken X52 that I used in an older build. We're gonna swap those out now. take a moment to realize that it's gonna be 2018 like tomorrow and still installing a CPU cooler is just one of the most tedious dumb things there is when it comes to building a PC unless you have like baby straw fingers you could reach in and then screws fall in it's just impossible to get out anyways we got the Kraken installed here uh, next thing to do is just to uninstall their rad solution because it's going to be front mounted because there is no mounting options on top unless you have a single rad and this is obviously a double 120 so we have to uninstall theirs and replace this with this so we're still going to have the uh their nzxt like rgb fans in the front All right, so we swapped everything out for now. The components that I wanted to do, 
Um, everything booted up except for the fans in the front here. Uh, these didn't. It could be because, you know, I didn't install the, uh, the software yet for that to recognize it. And as you can see over here, I actually didn't have another available uh, 120 fans. So I'm just using a white LED fan from Corsair for that exhaust. But uh, that's fine because I want all the interior to be as white as possible. So that being white is going to do it for now. Just really want to get this to work and then we're going to focus on the, uh, the redecoration of the black and white look. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is delete the uh, the drivers for the old RGB RAM I was using and install the new software for the Trident Z RGB RAM as well as the NZXT CAM software so I could track uh, my temps and the fan speeds and all that stuff. But that's, that's all boring stuff, you probably don't care. So, I uh, got the cam software installed. Everything is, you know, up and running. It recognizes that there's a cracking cooler installed, but there is no light panel right now. There is no way for me to physically change the lights. See, it knows that a Kraken's installed, but it just doesn't let you change the lights. Very, very frustrating. I've ran into this issue before. Um, you can see the Kraken is going, but the lights up here aren't, and there's no way for me to change anything. Hopefully we can figure this out, but not gonna worry about that for now. What I'm gonna focus on for this second part of the video is gonna be the vinyl wrap. And when I say vinyl wrap, I legit mean that. I bought actual vinyl wrap for a car, six feet of white vinyl that I'm going to, you know, trace out the side panel and the front panel and cut it so all those black parts now are gonna be covered in the white vinyl. That's gonna be also tedious about this build is making those very precise cuts so it looks good, not crappy or anything, and making sure there's no bubbles. But let's do that now. And that actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Got the uh, the cut nice and precise with a box cutter. So I just wanna spray this down now and hopefully apply it. This is gonna be like the hardest part. It's always the application. All right, that actually came out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Just again, like I said before, the word of the day is tedious. The hardest part was actually just like applying it for the front, but then on the side panel, since it was like impossible to trace, I had to really, really map out the dimensions of everything. So I got, you know, the most precise cut possible, but it looks better. I don't, I think it looks better than having the, the black, you know, like the, uh, the bezels in the way, if you will. And I know this was probably a very boring episode, but don't worry because tomorrow when we're doing part two, we are going to be adding a second 1080 Ti from Gigabyte for the all white build. So we're going dual 1080 Ti's in SLI. We're also going to be adding some extra RGB lighting, adding the logo and just the finishing touches. So I'm pretty pumped. And then hopefully over the night, I'll figure out some sort of solution for the cam software to get the RGB fans going, and then it'll all be escalated. So tomorrow's episode, definitely gonna be better than this one, I promise, I know it was kind of boring, but thank you all for sticking with it. And if you're liking the direction, if you're liking the looks of the PC so far, give this vlog a thumbs up, let me know your criticism, you know, your thoughts, any comments like that. Leave a comment or whatever you want down below. Let me know what you think about the modification to the Snowblind PC. Make sure you're following me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.